So we are now going to start painting. We have our lily um, petals cut out and we're going to start painting them. We're going to use a pastel technique. We're going to use yellows and pinks and I'm actually going to use uh, a little bit of um, uh, coral. So we're going to start by doing the edges a little bit yellow. And we have another one here. You can also do a little bit of white. I like this one better. darker in the middle. That doesn't paint that well, so this one, here we go. So this one gets clearer at the edges. And then we grab our cheesecloth and we just illuminate it. You can also use a um, um, cotton, cotton ball, or anything you can uh, decuminate it with. Look at that. I'm going to give it a little bit more peach color here. So now you can use whites or whichever you think suits your the style you want to give it so we're going to do oh that already started how did i do it okay so we're going to do yellow but no let's take this we're going to do this peachy color let me just make sure i've got the same colors peachy yellowy and the dark one in the center this oh yeah, this yellow. And this dark one. I think it's this one. This is totally very, very um, how everybody likes it better. There's no perfect color to the lily. I have already worked on this. So I was still determining what color we wanted. So, so now we have one side. I'm just going to make this a little bit more. We have the other side. So here we go. We are going to work on this other one. So we're going to give the peachy color at the edge. And then this like yellowy color center. And the dark fuchsia. Just have to decuminate it. So I hope you can see what we're doing. It's very. Uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of yellow here, just because this is like where the lily comes out. side so we're going to do the coral the yellowy and then this one where 
we're kind of supposed to. So we're going to do the same thing with all of our six petals. You can use whites, you can use fuchsias, you can start dark, you can do the edges red. I just don't like the way it's marked here, so I'm going to illuminate it a little bit more. So here we go. Now we're going to do the third one. So you're going to continue doing this. Here it's too marked, I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna give it a little bit more up so it can look a little bit more disseminated. Just a little bit more yellow here. So it looks kind of peachy. Basically, we continue all our petals like this. The other one. So now we're going to decontaminate it. how pretty it looks. So we got three and we're going to go for number four. color. Well, there is no wrong color. They're all beautiful, really. So now we just spread it out. side. So we are just going to continue painting our six petals and diffuminating them and we are done. So now we're going to start painting. Uh, you can see here we have our um,
there's just so many things. Oh. Pastels. So you can do this with acrylic paint, with lacquer paint. Let me go to this one. There we go. And now we're going to grab. You also, what your pastels will also always mark a little bit more. Better than the chalk, basically. Because remember, we're going to wire it right through here. So we're going to turn it around. Let me try to see on this edge if it goes a little bit better. There we go. Sideways will work better. So it's just shadowing. You will see it. It's very little noticeable. Let me try this one. There we go. That one looks pretty too. In the painting, there is no right or wrong, and you will notice that it is very um, not noticeable because it just turns into a sh uh, shadow when you thermal form it. So we got our cheesecloth here, or you can use a uh, cotton. I'm just gonna cut a little piece from it, and we're just going to blend it. We're just going to blend it. similar to um, our petals. Now on the leaves, you may wanna make, you know, um, like very thin markings, like, you know, like that. I'm gonna do it for this purpose, this, and then just mark them like that, you know, like your leaves. See how pretty? So we're just gonna mark these like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You see, it's not perfect there. There we go. Now I'm just going to diffuminate these a little bit, you know, just make them a little bit more. going to do the other one. So we did the dark and the middle. You know, and we do some green, yellow, whitish. And after you diffuminate it, then if you are going to make these markings, you did after it's, um, you know, you already passed your cotton over it. Or if you're doing, um, acrylics or lacquer you may want to use a marker 
So there is no right or wrong. Just remember. It's just actually, I actually do most of my painting with lacquer paint. You know, I have a painting station, but, um, you know, if you, I will have some videos on that, but you know, it's not for the kids. So if anybody has their, you know, event planning business and you're going to start developing these types of flowers, well, you may want to do it like way faster. But if you're just making one and you're just enjoying the process, oh, it's just so enjoyable. Look at that, how pretty. Can you see? And now, now at the end, we're just going to do our little lines like that. Towards the outside, right? this side too and then here so you see so we have finished our painting process just a little bit for our lily leaves now let's go to the next step 